All right, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at uh, Higgsfield. And what Higgsfield is, is I'm sure you've seen last week or so, all these like cool effects. Like for instance, the one that I that I had posted was the, uh, show you here real quick, where I basically turned myself into the Silver Surfer, uh, something like that. So yeah, that was with this tool called Higgsfield, which is right here and they have all these cool motion controls. And the way that I did that one is there was a turning metal. You can actually combine them, which is cool. There's like a mix called turning metal and melting. But anyways, for the simplicity, I just did the turning metal one. And I can show you the the real quick workflow for, for how I did that. And that was basically this guy again down here. So essentially what I did was I just uploaded the image, which this image of me, into this part right here, which says upload image. I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it, but basically I upload the image here. I put a pretty simple prompt. I said something along the lines of cinematographer turns left and turns into the silver surfer, something like that. Um, once it created this video, Higgsfield goes and writes a very in-depth prompt of, of what this is representing, which is pretty cool. Um, it goes really, really detailed, you know, sunlit outdoor setting, focus cinematographer, stands beside state of the art, radiating determination and creativity. Thanks, Higgsfield. Um, the ambient is filled with the gentle rustle of wind. Yeah, there, it just keeps going. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but it's pretty cool. Kind of writes based on what it sees. So, but anyways, let's get back to the ads because that's what I'm going to show. And basically I'm going to show how to take a product and inject it into, into AI where you can basically bring a product in and essentially we're going to find out, uh, make a video with it. Um, and then we're going to look at other reference tools that are out there. There's a runway reference. Kling has its version called elements where you can take a product and bring it into a, a video, just kind of like how Higgsfield is here. Runway, you can do it with an image and then mid journey has its newest feature called Omni which essentially should do the same thing. And then there's chat GPT, which you can also grab a product and, and bring it into something. But before we do that, let's take a look at Higgsfield first. And now we'll do this one called glam shot. So let's go ahead and pop into here. And the product we're going to use is an old product called tab. And it was a soda company from the sixties all the way up until about 2020, I believe is when it went under, but it was just a soda company, um, kind of like Coca-Cola in a way. It was probably a big competitor back in the sixties, but anyways, this is what we're going to use for this. Uh, so let's take this can of tab that basically just an image that I found on the internet and we're going to put it into this scene. Now it looks like it gives us a start frame, which is this woman here, right? That Higgsfield had supplied for us. And then back into those motion controls that we're looking at, it adds a motion control into it, which is the robo arm. And we could change the aspect ratio if we wanted to, we're just going to keep it at a one-to-one. -one. Then we have a couple, a couple options here in the settings where they're standard and high for this. We'll just keep it on standard to see what it gives us before we would start diving into something on the, on the higher level inside this tool. But it's going to cost us 13 uh, credits to run this. And I should mention that to use their ad feature right now, it looks like you have a, have a pro account, which is about 29 bucks a month. So I'll probably cancel it after a month or so, but I just wanted to, just want to show you what's possible with, with these new tools, but let's go ahead and take a look. We'll go ahead and generate this. And while that's generating, let's go ahead and use these references that I was referring to. So let's, let's pop over to mid journey while that generates. Make sure we're on version seven for this so we can use Omni. And again, this actually, I'm going to take this to one to one just so just to be a little consistent for our image size here, click the tab over here to add an image. And this is our tab soda that we, that I had brought in and I'm going to drag it over to Omni. Now Omni reference, this is basically a product, a person, things like that. If you've used mid journey before in the past where you had like six, one, this didn't exist. Omni wasn't there. The closest that was there was something called character reference and it's still in six. And when I do character reference, I still use six, but for the sake of this, we're going to obviously use Omni to see if we can get uh, mid journey to give us something. So we're going to say, I'm just going to say something real simple here Just say place the can of tab soda 
into a 3D Pixar style image of a kitchen. Oh, some super basic, right? Let's see what he gives us. All right, why that's generating, let's go back to Higgs field. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So it got a little, little wonky there at the end, but those first four seconds, I mean, it's not horrible. It's kind of interesting. Let's do one more. Let's go to a different ad. What should we try? Should we try the water drops? Water, let's do water drops. That might be cool. All right, let's upload our image of our tab. And again, we have the start frame, which is it's going to go off of this reference. And, it, and then it does the bullet time effect. So it's going to basically replace this with tab, and we'll see if it the reflection is different. Because right now you see these reflections are pretty accurate based on this can that's here. Uh, let's see if those reflections change based on based on the product. So we're going to generate that. And while that's generating, let's go back over to mid journey. It almost nailed it. Um, this definitely not. This added something weird and it messed up the text. Yeah, the closest we got was this, but it's still kind of garbled text a little bit. And so maybe not the best for mid journey. Let's go over to runway and we'll see what runway does. So we're going to go generate image. We're going to go into references, which is down here on the left. I'm going to hit upload upload our can of tab soda. We'll do a one to one to be consistent. We'll actually just grab the same exact prompt that we used in mid journey. And we'll see what it does. Let's give it a go. All right now while that's generating, let's go over to chat GPT, add the tab soda. We'll just ask for the same thing. Place a can of tap soda in a 3D Pixar style image of a kitchen. And it looks like ChatGP is going to give us two responses. That's great. Typically it only does one. Where things like Mid Journey or Runway is obviously going to give us four. All right, let's go back to Higgs Field while we wait for ChatGPT. Let's see how it did. Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, it is, text gets a little weird, right? Here at the bottom. So I don't think this is ready for prime time, but it, it's a cool, I don't know, cool feature, right? You kind of show your friends, but um, I don't think it's the proper workflow of actually using this for professional work, but it'll probably get better. It's cool. They have it. Um, should we do one more? All right. We'll do one more. Let's really send it through the, through the paces. Let's try this one. Let's try crystal. Not sure what's happening here. So basically this will be our start frame. It's going to do FPV drone, uh, looks on the effect. And that was the input image. Obviously we're going to change the input image, which is our can of tab. We'll see what this does. So I'll ahead and generate. Now while that's going, let's go back over to chat GPT. Take a look. Chat GPT actually did a pretty, pretty bang up job. Everything looks good on the text here. It looks very Pixar ish placed it in a kitchen. Let's go ahead and take a look at runway runway did a pretty good job too on, I think this one, these two are pretty good. I still think chat GPT is better for like lighting wise and more of that Pixar look, but this is a close second so far, but what's cool. Like if you're inside runway, let's say, we liked this one. We could just click use at the bottom here and we could say camera orbits around tab soda. Something real basic, um, but what's cool because now we're in runway and runways, obviously a video generation tool. Uh, we could just go ahead and hit generate. Let's take it a step further. Let's, I'm going to come into mid journey and I'm just going to basically going to ask mid journey. I'm say in the style of 3d Pixar, a establishing shot of a kitchen, something super basic. I just want to get the point across. 
typically when I prompt, I'm way more, way, way more detailed, but I just want to just get an image here just, just real quick. So go ahead and click submit. All right, let's pop over runway. We're waiting for that generation inside of mid journey. Take a look at this. Yeah, not so great there. I don't know what's going on with this reflection here, but it doesn't move how it's supposed to. It kind of just, if that's what it's supposed to be. I'm not sure what is happening with this, this weird little, little thing here, but that is definitely not something I would use, but we have to see what I do, right? All right, let's go back here. Yeah, something like this isn't, isn't too bad. So basically why I'm doing this is I'm going to download this image. Now this is something like, for instance, inside of runway that we can have a little bit more control. Um, now we have our tab soda that we had in here, but we're going to add that image we just generated and downloaded inside mid journey. And we'll bring that guy in and we can rename these. So I'm going to name this kitchen. I'll show you why in a second. I'll call this soda. Now you can say, so we can say place the, and you could click here on the right here and it would do at soda. So place the at soda on the counter inside the at kitchen. So you can just do at as well. You don't have to actually come here and click this. You can just do at kitchen. So it's basically saying place the soda on the counter inside the kitchen. And we're going to generate this and see what it gives us. And we'll do the same thing inside of ChatGPT here. So we'll bring in the tab and we will bring in our kitchen, right? And we'll say, add the can of tab soda. This one doesn't have as much of a reference. You could say like first image, but it doesn't have as descriptive, right? We could say, add the can of tab soda from image one to the counter inside the second image of the kitchen. Nice thing about ChatGPT is you can be a lot more conversational when you're going back and forth uh, when you're generating, which is nice. So I'm going to go ahead and submit that, see what it gives us. Yeah, runway definitely failed pretty bad on this one. The closest it got was, oh, last one. Last one's actually not too bad. Last one, the can looks fine, but these ones that got all got pretty messed up, but not too, too bad. It did just decide to zoom all the way into this, which is fine. And it might have added its own countertop and which is kind of cool because I did want it to be kind of a hero shot anyways, even though I wasn't that descriptive with it. Now what we can do inside cling. So basically we'll go to video inside cling here under image of video. We have frames and elements. Now we're going to use, we're going to use elements for this. So essentially I'm going to upload image of the kitchen and you do four of them here with elements. And there's another feature called multi elements, but that's for a different video. All right, let's go ahead and hit the tab here. And you could actually select certain parts of it. Now this is on a white background, so we don't have to get, we wouldn't have to do this, but just to show you, we, we could. So just to make it even more descriptive, like definitely just use this, but since it's on white, it wouldn't have, it would just use it anyways, but it's just if you have multiple elements in a, in an image. Anyways, I'll hit confirm and we're going to prompt something as simple as add the can of soda, add the can of tap soda to the countertop of the kitchen, you know, super basic prompt, but we'll just see what it gives us. So we'll go ahead and hit generate for that. And while that's generating, Let's go over to ChatGPT here. Looks like we had a network error, but that's all right. It gave us this first one here, which isn't too bad. It did mess up the calorie part of the of the label here, but and it said it's 965 milliliters, so uh, it messed up this part a bit. So yeah, let's go ahead and hit retry. Let's see what it does. So so far, none of them are perfect, right? Now we'll we'll try this with with Midjourney. It's a little bit of a different workflow, but that's our Omni reference, right? Is the, is the can of soda. And then we'll take our kitchen. Now the way this works, it doesn't allow you to fully say, add this to the kitchen, it's just the way mid journey works, but we could use as an image prompt. Space is going to use the elements of this image, right? So we could say, take the can of soda 
and add it to the countertop of the kitchen. But you want to be pretty descriptive. So we'd say, take the can of soda and add it to 3D Pixar style kitchen. We'll see what it does. Um, probably not going to be too, too great, but let's go ahead and take a look. All right, let's go back to Higgsfield. All right, let's go take a look. That's kind of interesting. Got a little wonky. Yeah, I feel like I feel like right now this ads tool is just more like, look what it can do. You know, it's, I wouldn't use this in a professional setting by any means. It's kind of fun to play with. I definitely like the playing with these effects. Again, I don't think I'd ever use it in production, but they're just cool, cool effects. All right, so as you can see, these tools, they, they have potential. And if you get better at prompting them, I just want to show you quickly, just with some basic prompts that we could get. Um, if you're interested in learning how to do this type of stuff on a professional level, inside my course, I teach this exact workflow in my advanced part of my course. That'll teach you how to actually bring product into it, an actual spot and make it look real and, and how to prompt for that. Make stuff that's believable and, and professional quality work. But this is just a quick little back and forth because all these, these tools just keep coming out so fast. So uh, in the course, I teach the clean workflow, which is the, the elements here. But to generate before you get to clean, I would probably use ChatGPT because that was the best one we got. If I want to do it first before I went to animate it, I'd probably use something like this. And I'd probably generate this a couple more times, right, to to really get this label to look correct because obviously it's super wrong. But that's probably the workflow I would do if I was trying to get the image before. Workflow in my course is more of this where I have two two separate elements. But, but I teach you how to actually have way more control and make it look real and the way you want it to look. For this, I just wanted to show you there's a workflow to it. All right, let's take a look at Kling here. All right, so inside Kling here, it's kind of interesting. It uh, kind of shows like a jib down movement, which I didn't really tell any type of camera movement. So that was my, you know, that's kind of on me because I just want to do it real quick to see what it would give us. But for not giving it anything, it didn't do too bad of a job. All right, so that's reference tools that are out there right now. And what I mean by reference is taking a reference image and bringing it into an AI world. Higgsfield, yeah, that ad feature, I don't know, it's it's cool. It's not, like I said before, it's, it's, it's not production worthy, but if you just wanted to show a couple cool things to your friends, you could probably do it inside here. These are... It just kind of gimmicky in my opinion. That's it. Hope you got some uh, some some knowledge out of this and go ahead and give a few of these a shot and we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.